everyone! Welcome to Little Folk of Fairy. As you can see, this is a very pretty game. I've never played this before, but I was very intrigued not only with the art style, but the story of the game and the story of the game that was given in the description was simply, we are discovering a little village of fairies and fairy folk, um, which include different mystical creatures, not just the traditional uh, winged fairies here. So let's get started. Give a name to your clan. Yep, Bubonic. I was back in my grandparents' village where I had spent part of my childhood, but so much had changed, and whatever I was going to do with the tiny curiosity shop I had had <laughs> that was a question. I had inherited. After the notary handed me the keys, the course of my life dramatically changed. The curiosity shop had lost its luster. Ooh. Is that a big tree in the middle of it? My grandfather must have found it difficult to run all by himself in his old age. I was expecting the place to be a little topsy-turvy, but I wasn't ready for what I saw. At the back of the room, a huge tree was growing. Yep, that is an actual tree. Oh, there's a little doggy there. Oh, look, it's one of them up there. With Ginger, my ever-curious dog, leading the way, I edged tentatively into the room, realizing how much work lay ahead of me before I could live here. Ooh. Ginger? First his yapping caught my attention, then the tinkling of tiny bells. I had just the time to see my faithful friend swallowed up in a cloud of golden dust. Uh-oh. A small creature... Puroded? Rode it down into the hall hollow of my hand, a fairy. She didn't have enough fairy dust left to take me into her world, but she needed my help. The harmony between both our worlds had come undone, undone ever since my grandfather had unwillingly left them to their fate. But you took my dog. <laughs> the fairy sprinkled some magic dust in my eyes and suddenly I could see tiny people living at the foot of the tree. They were so small you could hold them on, your, on one finger. If I was going to find Ginger, I would have to help these fairy creatures. There wasn't a moment to lose. I think the dog is barter. <laughs> I would have to learn to communicate with these little people and guide them. Okay. Oh, hello. Welcome to the fairy realm. I am Faye. Ah, clever. <laughs> I am Faye, and it is I who asked you to come and help our world. Here is the ancient tree, the tree of our village. I'm going to show you around the rest of our little realm. Don't worry, I'll stay by your side to guide you. Follow me. Oh, nice artwork. Here is a fairy creature with his pet animal. Oh, he has. He looks like a squirrel or a chipmunk. This one is, is a gnome. He lives in the fairy village with the other fairy folk. You will need to organize the village's work to restore the village to its former splendor. You can interact with the villagers. Select a villager by clicking on them with the left mouse button. Well, press OK. Click on the gnome. Well done, now you know how to select a villager. Notice the information about the villager at the bottom of the screen. You will need to give, these, to give tasks to all the different villagers if you are going to save our world. Okay. Nickerick the Mighty. A gnome. He is gleeful. And right now he's doing nothing. To move a villager, simply select them and hold down the mouse button while you move them where you want. Release the button to drop the villager in position. Drop the gnome on the crystal. <laughs> I like it when they react. Congratulations! You have dropped a villager onto a quest. Your villager will now give their all to complete the quest. The progress the villager has made with their quest is indicated above your, their head. Ah, so we're like, um, resource managers in this game. Oh, okay. 
A villager has finished the task you gave them. Claim the fairy crystal. Enchantment gained plus five. Okay, so there's a five right there. It's so great you're here. We must organize a banquet to celebrate. First we'll need food. Let's go and harvest some at the fruit basket. Oh, you can see. Oh, you can hold them on a finger because that's a deck of cards, tarot cards. And there's a coin and a button. Okay, this is where the banquet will take place. I will explain to you how it is organized later. Let's move on to the fruit basket. Keep wanting to say fruits basket like the anime. <laughs> Here is the fruit basket. This is where fairy folk harvest fruit. Oh look, there is a wistful spirit lurking near the basket. Wistful spirits like this frighten your little people. You're going to have to distract this one if we are to harvest food. Okay, so this is... Fortunately, this wistful spirit is weak, so we should be able to see it off easily enough. Place the, music place the musician on the wistful spirit to play charming music Play charming music. I have already picked your musician out for you. Drop the musician on the spirit. Well done, you really charmed that miserable, wistful spirit. Now its mind is elsewhere and you can send a villager to harvest food in peace. I have heard it said that the hermit fairy once lived here, but I can't find... Her front door anywhere. Maybe it's hidden under this shiny bunch of grapes. Drop the dryad on top. I have already picked your dryad out for you. This is a dryad on top of the grapes. Well done! Your villagers harvesting, harvesting food. Food is essential to the fairy folk. Don't forget they have particularly big appetites, so make sure you harvest food regularly. Otherwise, they'll start to feel blue. Oh, this is great detail. As you complete quests that help restore some of the fairy realm's luster, the patches of fog gradually disappear. When a patch of fog disappears completely, the wistful spirit lurking in the area also evaporates. Villagers finish the task you gave them. Gather fruit from the basket. Enchantment gain plus 10. Okay, so I take it the star is our enchantment because now we have 15. Oh, thank you, my friends. I was wondering if I'd ever stretch my wings or see your smiling face again. But my, how our little world is a funny is in a funny state. I have been saving a seat especially for just an occasion. Here, it is for you. Thank you, Lady, Her Lady Hermit Fairy. We shall plant the seat later. Right now, we have to organize this banquet. We have enough food for now, so let's get back to the banquet table. Prepare the banquet. The villagers are particularly fond of festivities. Banquets perk up their morale and help them relax after work. Preparing the banquet requires food and three villagers. Let's get cracking. Drop three villagers on the banquet table. Okay. Here's one. Two. <laughs> There we go. Excellent! The villagers are busy preparing the banquet. Soon the festivities can begin. Oh, it looks like everybody has a pet. The banquet will cheer up your fairy folk. It'll it will also guide stray friends back to the village. It looks like a Jerboa from Ark Survival Evolved. Even though I know it's it's probably um, a type of shrew. Oh, Maria Duck, a leprechaun, has returned to the village. A villager has finished the task you gave them. Make merry together. What joy! A fairy creature lost in the forest has found their way home, guided by the sounds of merry, a merriment coming from the banquet. Now we have one extra villager. If we throw more banquets, even more villagers may trundle home. A word of warning though, organizing a real banquet is a lot more effort than this tiny get-together. These new 
The new villager is a leprechaun. To find out about your villagers, take a look at the bestiary in the Tome of Lore. There's an icon on the bottom left. Okay. Tome of Lore. This book provides information about how the game works. It is possible to access the different sections by clicking on the tabs to the right of the book or on the pictures on the first page. Okay, let's see here. In these pages, you will find useful information about the inhabitants of the fairy realm that you encounter in the course of your adventure. Oh, okay. Okay. Fay. Fay is the guardian of the fairy. Faye is the guardian fairy of the fairy realm. She does everything she can to help the fairy realm rediscover its splendor and joy. She is here to guide you and applaud your exploits. Dryad. Graceful and er elegant, dryads can be recognized by their foliage and branches. Their innate talent for tasks relating to nature makes them such appreciated by gnomes. However, dryads are shy and rarely venture far from their tree. Strong, strong skill nature, weak skill exploration. She doesn't have skills. Leprechaun. Leprechauns are great practical jokers and their wide mouths are always curled into a smile. Of all the creatures in the fairy realm, they most love to take walks and explore new places, accompanied by the music of their friends, the pixies. Strong skill exploration, weak skill nature. Wistful spirit. No one knows where the wistful spirits that have been haunting the fairy realm come from. It was once rare to catch sight of them in the fairy realm, and even rarer to see them so close to the village. Their presence is accompanied by an aura of great sadness. In fact, they are crushingly dull and go out of their way to recite their gloomy tales. When villagers stray into the haunts of wistful spirits, their morale plunges. Music appeases wistful spirits and diminishes their depressing influence. Hermit Fairy the Hermit Fairy is the oldest and wisest fairy in the realm, and she provides the feast the least mischievous advice a fairy can offer. She recently retired to her retreat in search of a solution to the fairy realm's melancholy. 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 Sorry. Unfortunately, a bunch of grapes has fallen in front of her door, and she is unable to get out and share her discoveries. Any more? No. Clumsy and squat, gnomes are nonetheless tremendously knowledgeable and capable of the most outlandish inventions. They are admired by dryads of their know-how, but their rigor renders them from sensitive, renders them less sensitive to arts such as music. Strong skill knowledge, we skill music. But Pixie! Pixies have music in their souls. Their melodies have compelled many a leprechaun to dance from sheer delight. Lighthearted and whimsical by nature, nothing bores them more than old books, science, and other such nonsense. Strong skill music, weak skill knowledge. Okay, that is it for now. I believe the hermit fairy gave us a seed to plant. Let's head back to the fruit basket. Here's to see the hermit fairy gave us. We'll take it to the orchard, orchard to plant. Oh, I better show you where the orchard is. Orchid is the flower, not the where you plant things. And here is the orchard. Return to the fruit basket and place the villager on the seed from the hermit fairy. The villager will return to plant the seed here near the orchard seed. You will have a bit of traveling to do to get back to the banquet table where the villagers are. To get there, click on the ground and move the mouse while holding the button down. Okay, so it is a click and drag. Okay, so... Silvana, take care of the seed. You need to drop a villager on the seed near the fruit basket when the bubble appears. Okay. Near the fruit basket. There's a seed. Okay, so there's the morale here. It's happy and it's kind of okay, and then they're sad. 
Because like this is the amount of food we have. This food, yeah. Let's just finish the task you gave them. Take the seed to the orchard. More enchantment. I expect our actions have had a strange effect on the real world. Let's go to your shop and see. Click the curiosity shop button on the bottom left right of the interface to access the shop. Let's go back to the real world. Oh wait, here we go. Curiosity shop. As you restore the fairy realm, the fairies give you a magic thank you and tidy up your shop. Precious knickknacks that link your world to the fairy realm resurface, like this crystal ball for example. To buff up, to buff up a precious knickknack, simply click on it. To return to the fairy realm, click the back button. Clean the crystal ball. Crystal ball. My grandmother used to tell me that whatever that whenever she looked into the crystal ball, she could see a small village in a tree inhabited by tiny mysterious creatures. Okay. I heard a dog barking, didn't you? There's only one dog in the fairy realm, Ginger, and he's got something to show us. Go and see Ginger by clicking on the dog icon on the bottom left of the interface. That's the dog icon? Okay, I guess that's the dog. <laughs> Ginger has a great sense of, sense of smell and can find hidden objects or sniff out, sniff out quest areas. When he finds when he finds one, he will bark, and the dog icon at the bottom of the interface will start flashing. Ginger has just discovered the muse. A muse can teach your villagers new things. All fairy folk have different levels in each of their four skills. Nature, exploration, knowledge, and music. Drop a villager on the muse so they can practice their music. Okay, so my dog has been fairified. Play music for the muse. Got a new... Here's the muse. Okay. But there goes Ginger. Muses are charming creatures. They inspire artists to compose and play the most beautiful melodies. Your musicians will be delighted to render a tune in their company. The muse likes to listen to music and will read readily offer musicians advice. Okay. Magnificent! Bravo! I shall tell you a story to reward your efforts. Ancestral scores speak of a legendary instrument that is hidden in the far southwest of the fairy realm. There are several learning nooks. Learning the fruit basket, the theater of inspiration, the telescope, or the library of learning. Library of learning. Each place can train your villagers to help them with a particular skill, nature, music, exploration, and knowledge. Villagers enjoy their training immensely, but of course nothing compares to going on a real adventure. Try to locate there's another wisp. Try to locate and click on all the learning nooks. The world map button on the bottom left will help. It'll provide an overview of the fairy realm. Congratulations, you have found a learning nook. If a villager has nothing to do, why not drop them here so they can improve their skills? Okay, so they're almost gone. This is like warming up. You now know the fair how the fairy realm works. That was a pretty intensive tutorial. It's time for you to take over take over the reins, but I'll appear from time to time to give you advice. The window on the top of the screen provides clues about the tasks you still have to complete. To really brighten up the fairy realm, you need to chase away all the patches of fog. You can do this by completing the quest given to you by the most important figures of the fairy fairy realm. I recommend you decipher the writings you find near the ancient tree to learn more about our world. Do be patient. It can sometimes take hours for villagers to complete their tasks, but the hustle and bustle never stops in the fairy realm. Even when you're not there or have turned off your computer, breaking the fourth wall here, your villagers keep toiling away at the task you have set awaiting your return. That's good. One of your villagers felt peckish and has stopped work to have a nibble. Make sure your villagers always have something to eat, otherwise morale will suffer and they will need a lot of cheering up. 
Okay, so he got hungry, which is why he left. Find the writings of the ancient tree. Okay, but this is the end of the first episode, and I'll get back to this as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!